Hello everyone, it's Donna and I thought I would do an updated uh, video on Inverd 2022 and Font Engine and this particular video is not going to require uh, Inverd Studio. I had uh, performed uh, or made a video before about incorporating fonts into Inverd Studio. But this time I'm just going to go through Embird Manager and I was going to show you the steps that I go through to uh, get new fonts in. So let me close this dis design. Oh, this by chance um, is a FCM file which uh, is for a brother scan and cut. I've been playing with that so if you want to know how to do that with some of your designs or, or how to actually just go ahead and digitize things for your scan and cut let me know and we you know can try to get some videos made and stuff like that anyway so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and close this one out and um to map new fonts you would go over here and you would see the insert font engine text. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make this large so that you can see it. And what I'm going to do. First and foremost, what you would want to do is uh, there's a little icon over here. It looks like a little folder and if you hover above it, it says fonts folder. You click that and your folder one is where your inbird fonts are and you can look for different fonts they do not have to be actually installed on your computer like a lot of software requires in order for you to be able to use them and right now i have some fonts in a folder that i want to digitize or play with or things like that so i'm going to show you how to do that and this was from editor and clicking on the insert font engine text. So we will click on this little import folder over here. And I'm going to click my computer and it's going to show me all of my disk drives. And I know that the stuff is in clip art and it is in fonts to digitize. And I'm going to say OK. And here I will say OK boom and you'll see fonts come in and if I look in that folder I will see some of the specific fonts Cleopatra is going to be an easy one to find so over here now I'm back to where I would want to do the text and I want to see if they are loaded or not so Cleopatra is loaded now I can just go in and say hello world and say OK and it's compiling it and I can hit the 3D view and it'll show you what it looks like um, note that this is not um, in Inbird Editor so you will not have your EOF files here um, let's see if I if I go back in yes if I decided you know let's see um, if I go in here and say oops hello oh, let me remove the first one if I say oh man I made a mistake in here as you saw I can click this and I can go into here and I can say oops I'll make my correction say OK and you will see hello Frank now but behind it if I hide this you'll see the original one so we still need to get rid of this particular Part. Now we can unhide that and you will see your correction. So that's how you can use some of uh, 
the niceties of Embird font engine without actually having to own Embird Studio. Hope this helps with Ember 22 and if you want any further videos just let me know and I'll try to make them. Thanks. Bye.